All right, welcome to The Brain Dance. This is a series of eight movement patterns. You can follow me or just think of the pattern that we're doing and improvise on your own. Pattern number one is the breath. So we'll inhale as we lift the body, the arms, the torso, the head upwards, exhale as we ground it down. We can start to add a little bounce on the exhale, letting the arms fall and droop beside you. Spending some time on each movement pattern. We'll inhale as we peel the arms open. Exhale as we draw the hands together. We'll inhale as we peel them open, side to side, forward and back. And then we'll peel the arms open and down. So energy is coming up and down, back to the center. Focusing on your breath. We'll learn the breath of joy. So the arm movements go like so. Swing out to the side, swing up top, back and forth. We'll be doing a triple inhale. So in and then exhaling through the mouth. Inhale, 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 out. So three sips of air in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. One more time, breath of joy, nice. Second pattern is tactile, the touching of the body. So we'll pat up the arm, up the chest, trying to pat the entire body down. Go ahead and move at your own speed. I'm just demonstrating. The body needs to be touched. And who's better to touch our own bodies than ourselves? So finding this tactile sensation, don't forget the bottoms of the feet. Then we'll move on to more of a rubbing sensation, like you're scrubbing sand or mud all over your body. How can you scrub and touch in a way that feels pleasing to you? Finding all the nooks and crannies, hard and soft places in the body, not forgetting the face, the head, the ears. And then we'll add some soft touches down the arms, tender touch, finding those places that need a moment of caress and of love. Don't forget the back body down the legs. How can this feel pleasing and pleasurable? Doing this in your own way. Ah, okay, pattern number three is core distal. So we will be moving into our core, into our center, a tiny ball like we are in our mother's womb. And as we expand outward, reaching out with all limbs, into the far distal ends. So moving back and forth in your own way, in your own speed. The coming in, curling in is about connecting with oneself. The expanding outwards is expanding into the world. You can try different speeds, exploding into a star, hurling yourself. You can also try this movement lower to the ground in a squatting position or even lying down. So taking some time, drawing it out, limbs reaching out to the far ends and drawing them back into the center. It can look any way, doesn't have to be like how I'm moving. All right, number four, spinal movements. So babies then learn these are all patterns based on how we develop as humans so let's first move the tail left and right like you have a big kangaroo tail and you're swishing it and then allow the neck to be soft so the whole spine is like a piece of seaweed underneath the ocean feeling connected to the top and the tail as you round back 
and together, creating C shapes back and forth with the spine. And then we'll do some spinal waves, curling the neck under, letting the whole spine go, and then curling back up. So as you do this, it's like you're diving into the water. As you rise back on up, the chest, belly, and hips will rise might take some time to find this spinal wave for yourself, so just practicing. Alright, then we'll go the other direction, leading with the hips, then the belly, chest, and then chin, and then it drapes back down. So this is a tail leading spinal wave. Finding a little bit more movement and mobility in each vertebra of the spine. Again, this can look and be however it looks for you. Could be different. Let's go side to side now. Shaking it out. All right, fun one is you can draw your name with your head using the entire length of the spine. So like you had a piece of paper in front of you and you had paint on the top of your head, drawing your name with your head and letting the rest of the spine follow. Nice. All right, let's move on to the fifth pattern, the upper body. So we'll isolate only moving the upper body, keeping the lower body still. Let's open and close the hands, circling in our wrists, and again, these movements are all suggestions as long as you're moving in only the upper body, however feels good for you, that's correct. So we'll be placing our, our hands facing upward like you have teacups in your hands. You can begin to move your hands around in space, finding creative ways to move those teacups around space without letting them fall off your hand. So again, doesn't have to look like me finding your own creativity. How can you make this feel enjoyable to those shoulders, elbows, wrists? Okay, then we'll move on to a little bit more of sharp, sharp energetic movements. So you can shake things out, shake it on out, shake that upper body. And then you can begin to find sharp movements with the hands, punching, making straight lines, shooting energy out through the fingertips, punching away anything you no longer need, finding your creativity here with your upper body. And then you can also play with being soft in the upper body, again, like seaweed arms in the ocean, nice and soft. we'll go through some arm waves. Starting with the hand, we'll roll the wrist, elbow, shoulder down. Wrist, down, elbow, shoulder. Wrist, elbow bends, shoulder sinks down. That's step one. All right, and the other part of the wave is first sinking the shoulder, elbow, and then the hand will lower. Again, other side, shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, hand. And then we'll connect those two into a full wave. So leading up with the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then sinking back down, like you're brushing a wall up and down an invisible wall that's on the side of you can feel awkward at first. Just practice isolating these movements and then we'll go back and forth. One arm, then the other. Nice. Finding a little bit more articulation in the arms. Nice. Okay, now Next part of this pattern is only moving the lower body. So keeping the upper body still, you can bind them behind your back. We'll just begin to shift one foot onto the next and find different movements creatively with your own imagination to only move with your lower body. This could be jumps out and in. This could be walking forward and back, just noticing how your lower body moves. 
You can lift them high, lift them low. It doesn't have to look a particular way. You can also play with having um, invisible paint on the bottom of your feet and begin to paint the floor with your feet, like you're ice skating, sliding around the room, finding different internal and external rotation with your legs. Ah, sliding around the room, finding your own rhythm, your own grace with this. All right, now we're doing side body, isolating one side. So first lifting the foot and the hand forward and back. And then maybe in front of the body, side to side, opposite directions. Moving side body is all about isolating one part of the brain, helping us with decision making also and choice. Do I go left? Do I go right? And then letting that arm and that leg explore space. All right, switching sides, back and forth. Side to side in opposite directions. Again, each of these patterns affect the brain in different ways. And they map out how we as humans developed our movement and therefore developed our brain. So as we begin to repeat these movements, we can strengthen different parts of our brain. All right, you've made it to the final movement, most complex, which is cross lateral, where the limbs are crossing the lateral plane. So we'll first start with the lower body, stepping one foot behind, crossing the other arm up uh, in front of the body. Again, you can find different movements than these. You can speed this up now. Find a little bit of a rhythm and a dance. You can cross your hands above your head. Maybe reach for the ground. Any movement that is crossing the limbs or that lateral plane. This mimics walking. Yep, maybe stepping one foot in front and then the other way. You can find your rhythm, find your groove. Yes. All right, now let's get the grapevine going. So we're stepping side, back, side, in front, and side. Other way, crossing the hands at the same time that you cross the legs. Back and forth a few times, finding your rhythm, your own style with this, knowing it's challenging your brain in different ways. All right, now opposite, try crossing your arms while your legs are open and opening your arms while your legs are closed. <laughs> and then from here, you can cross that front line, tapping elbow to opposite knee, and then hand to opposite foot, back and forth. And playing with it however you want. We'll move on to testing our vestibular system by spinning. Spinning in one direction. We're training our vestibular or the liquid in our ears to maintain homeostasis. Once you get busy, you can stop spinning, breathe, and then spin in the other direction. Finding joy in this. If being dizzy doesn't work for you, you can ignore this portion. Finding your balance. And there you finish the brain dance. We'll take a deep breath in, drawing it in through center. Find yourself a big old yes inside your body. Yes, 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 yes. Feeling the joy within, expanding outwards. Brain dance complete.